Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brown Isles here and this week we've got some more new products. First up, from Midwest Industries, we have their new Armors Ranch. This is a fully featured Armors Ranch uh, from Midwest Industries with a lot of nice features, as in fully featured. Uh, so right here it is, out of the package. We'll start on this end over here. Uh, right here we have a standard AR-15 barrel nut wrench or, or interface. Uh, it's got, on this side, we'll work fine with the USGI. This side's more suitable for some uh, non-standard GI barrel nuts uh, that might work with these pegs a little bit better. Moving on down, we have a A2 uh, socket right here. So if you're putting on a rifle tube, you can use this right here, A1, A2, uh, buffer tubes or rifle length. And right close to those, you got a half inch drive, which is nice to have that as close as possible, whatever you're torquing. Uh, and then right here on the side too, they do have this little nub. So if you need to whack something, that's your little hammer. Uh, and then marked on here, they do have various notations on the proper torque values. So uh, whether you're doing your barrel nut torque, castle nut, flash hider, it's all printed there, nice and handy. If you can't remember that, good stuff. Uh, moving on back, we do have a bottle opener, uh, not necessarily part of the build process, but you know, that's always handy to have. Uh, and then they have an A2 uh, or a muzzle device slot right here. So this is good for torquing on those muzzle devices. Again, real close to that half inch drive. A nice note too, is it's really thin. So if you run into those muzzle devices that maybe don't have as big of a shoulder uh, to really get onto, uh, this gets onto some A2, A1 devices or aftermarket devices that might otherwise, you might mar up with a, th a thicker armor's wrench. Uh, another half inch drive right there, real close to both of these. And then here you have your castle nut wrench. Uh, and then this is also used for the Midwest Industries barrel nuts. So that interfaces nicely with those. So if you got if you buy a lot of Midwest Industries stuff, you got essentially a wrench always handy. So that's the Midwest Industries Armors wrench. Then new from Wilson Combat, we have some of their new barrels uh, on the website, various lengths. But I picked this one out because it's uh, pretty intriguing to me anyways. Uh, it's stainless, stainless steel. It is a 5.56 chamber. You have to just double check on that. But the interesting thing about this is it's got an intermediate gas system length. So uh, typically there's the pistol, carbine, mid-length, and rifle. Uh, but now there's the intermediate. And that's really between mid-length and rifle length. Uh, so what that does when you have a 16-inch barrel, uh, you maximize your reliability and that recoil impulse or minimizing it with this system length, or at least smoothing out your system. Uh, essentially having that longer gas system uh, makes all those moving parts back there a little bit smoother Whereas you have it closer to the, the chamber, you're gonna get much more violent recoil impulse and all those parts are gonna be operating, or operating under much higher pressure. So intermediate gas system length is pretty neat to have. Uh, and then they do have a 750 diameter gas block right here. It's a low profile type, so it's a little bit shorter uh, than an A2. Of course, half by 28 uh, threads. Uh, and they do have this nice lightweight contour. I really like this contour they have, so it's not really heavy anywhere. It's gonna balance really nice on your setup. Uh, and then they do have a stainless steel M4 feed ramp uh, extension right there to cap it off. So that's the intermediate barrel from Wilson Combat. And then also from Midwest Industries, going back to them, we have this guy right here. Uh, we've had the carbine length and I believe the mid length drop-in handguard for a little while. This is a drop-in handguard for your rifle length uh, AR-15. So say you got an A1 or an A2 sitting around uh, and you wanna upgrade it to a modern configuration, you wanna attach lights, uh, laser designators, that type of thing. Uh, you can take off your plastic A2 or A1 handguard and then clamp this in place. It comes in two halves, just like a GI handguard, and it's gonna rock in place uh, just like those uh, original handguards. And what that's gonna give you is one, uh, fully featured aluminum handguard. So you have uh, M-lock slots at the three, six, and nine o'clock positions. Uh, and then you also have QD sockets uh, at the front and the back, and that's on both sides, so really handy. You know, saves you on buying additional attachment devices. Uh, and then up top, you have a full length Picatinny rail. So pretty handy if you're gonna mount anything to your uh, 20 inch rifle, it's a good way to go. Uh, you know, maybe you wanna throw this on one of your Brownells retro rifles. Uh, but a pretty fully featured setup and a simple installation for everybody uh, from Midwest Industries. And then new from KE Arms, we have their upgraded butt plate. So the standard KP15 low receiver comes with a solid uh, butt plate that's checkered. Uh, this one right here adds the trap door functionality. So those lowers are hollow on the rear uh, below the buffer tube. So if you want to add a trap door, you know, store your stacks, you know, cleaning tools, that type of thing, you can do that 
uh, with this guy right here. It has this uh, trap door built in, and when it's installed, it'll just stay in place, uh, folds down so you can easily access uh, the contents, and then it snaps back up in place like so. So check that out from KE Arms. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.